Hey everyone, this is Mike from vSwitch Zero. So today I'm going to go through the process of patching your ESX host manually from the command line. So there's a lot of different reasons you may want to patch. Maybe there's some new um, bug fixes that have just come out, or there's a security vulnerability you're concerned about and want to patch for. Um, but whichever reason, um, there are still some some use cases for patching from the command line, especially if you've got a smaller environment. Maybe you don't want uh, to deal with um, Update Manager or the new um, updates tools in the, in the newer versions of uh, vSphere. So I'll walk you through how to do this. I have a host number uh, ESX1 here and you can see here it's running uh, ESXi 7.0.1 with a build number of 168.50804 and I know that this build number is just ESXi 7.0 update 1 so the uh, the base build of, of update 1. So there's been a few different patches since uh, that came out so I'm gonna patch to the uh, the next one that's, that's available. So I'm going to um, draw your attention to this page here on, from VMware. It's called the uh, the product patches page. It's basically a search tool where you select your product from a drop down box here and you uh, will get a list of all of the patches available and the download links. So I'm going to choose uh, ESXi here from the list and 7.0.1 is uh, 7.0 update 1. So I'll pick that and do a search. And all of the patches that have come out since uh, 7.0 update 1 are listed here. So if I go down to the bottom, you'll see that this is the build that I actually have currently. This is the 7.0 update 1 patch. And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade to um, this one here, 7.0 U1A. And you can see there's a download link right here. And another thing you should probably do also is click the link to the release notes. Um, this will show you what sort of fixes uh, were in place. There's a section here called Resolved Issues. So you definitely want to take a look through here, see which patch it, what is actually included in the patch. This one you can see there was a security vulnerability that was addressed. Um, some of the pa um, patches may include more than one fix, so you definitely want to take a look. It's also good practice to look through this in case there are any changes around compatibility or other things that you need to be aware of when you patch here. So I've already downloaded this patch here. You can see it's uh, in my downloads folder. So I'm just going to first upload this to a location where my hosts can get to it. So if you have uh, multiple hosts you want to do, it definitely makes sense to put it into a data store that's shared that they'll have access to. So that's what I'm going to do here. I've got one called Shared HDD that all three hosts in my cluster should have access to. So from the browser, um, you can just upload it right here. So I'll just go to the Upload Files option. And you don't have to extract the zip file. Make sure you leave it as is um, because it's actually a depot file that, that is sort of structured in such a way that the host can process the, the compressed file. Don't try to pull out vib files or anything from it because that won't work for you. So I'll go ahead and upload this. And I'll just fast forward to when this is finished. Okay, so that's done. Um, now the first thing you'll want to do before you actually apply the patch is to put the host in maintenance mode. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. There's some running virtual machines on there and uh, the patches will require a reboot. So you definitely want to make sure there's nothing on the host. If you have DRS enabled, uh, it should automatically evacuate your host for you. So I'm hoping that'll be the case here. And you can see it's uh, moving off a virtual machine. Okay, so host ESX1 is now in maintenance mode. Um, I didn't show it in the video, but I did have a couple that were pinned to local storage, so I had to shut a couple of virtual machines down, but they're down now and it's in maintenance mode. So the next thing you want to do is log into your host via SSH. So I've got a, an SSH session open to host ESX1 here already. Now the, um, the data stores are accessible in the uh, slash VMFS slash volumes location, so I'll just show you that real quick here. You can see that the... Um, list of all of my data stores are here. The, the one that I uploaded the file to is called Shared HDD. So I'll just show you the contents of that. And you can see here here is the file VMware ESXi 7.0 U1A. So we'll need this file name. We'll also need the path to where it's stored and we can do the update. Now the command you'll want to use is ESXCLI software vib update and we're going to point it to a depot file, and the depot is the, the, the zip containing all of the metadata and all of the, the modules that need to be uh, patched. So it's just dash dash depot equals, and we're going to put the full path to the file. So that's the 
directory that it's that it's in and then the file name itself and again so it's ESX CLI software vib update dash dash depot equals and then the full path to the uh, the file and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit enter here and if it sort of sits there for a bit it, you've probably done it correctly if it comes back with an error right now just make sure you double check your your file path and make sure the hosts in maintenance mode Okay, so you can see a huge list of um, different ESX modules um, showed up on the screen here. You can see that the output here includes a bit of important information at the top. So you'll want to look at the installation results section here. So you can see that the message uh, reads the update completed successfully, but the system needs to be rebooted uh, and reboot required true. Um, you'll also see in the UI in the background here that there's now, uh, actually there should be a reboot required message yeah here it is here for the host in question so we now have to reboot this in order for that to take effect so I'm gonna just show you real quick here you can see the current version that you're at so it's just VMware dash VL and again this is the the old build number and I'm gonna go ahead and reboot this host now and we'll check to make sure it updated so I'll just fast forward the video here Okay, so the host is now back online. It's still in maintenance mode. I'll just go ahead and reconnect here. Um, another thing I didn't mention before too, so the list of all the modules that came up here, you can see which ones were actually installed or updated and which ones were removed. Usually if there was a newer one installed, you'd see a corresponding one removed. And also the, the VIB skipped is a very long list because these are just um, modules that didn't have any code changes for this particular patch. So just keep that in mind. So I'll just uh, go ahead and log in here again. And you can see the new build number has now taken effect. So it's still 70U1, but it's uh, 70U1A with build number 17119627. Uh, so there you have it. And again, this is on a host-by-host -host basis, so obviously Update Manager is a better way to do this if you've got a large number of hosts, but uh, still very useful if you have standalone hosts or you just want to do a one-off uh, patch like this. Hope you found that helpful. Uh, please uh, like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks very much.